What's up guys? Alvin Dias back again guys for YouTube. Just want to say guys it's been a while since I shooted a video. We've been really busy me and my wife uh, business and stuff like that. Uh, so been a little bit slacking with the videos not too much but uh, you guys know when life gets in the way uh, you know sometimes you got to pause a little bit and then you know get back on the video grind again because it's not easy to do these videos especially when you have work business stuff clients and all that stuff going on uh, but i want to say we are 18 days out guys which is insane 18 days until the show happens 16 days until we fly out so today i'm going to show you some of my meals uh, I'll, I'll try to do a full day of eating um, you know it depends how we're going to show this but obviously i'm going to show you as much as meals as I can, I'll try to do a full day of video. But this is my first meal, guys. Things have changed quite a bit, okay? I am um, uh, obviously, um, uh, you know, going into the show. There are some protocols that we are, well, I'm changing. So I'll get into it very soon in a deeper level. But protein pancakes going on, okay? As my first meal with a smoothie. That's my first meal. We are deep feeding during the week. And on Sundays, we are doing the refeed. I want to do a refeed as well, a refeed meal as well for you guys. So we got 100 milliliters of egg whites in here, 5 grams of protein, 100 grams of banana, and then I put a little bit of vanilla essence to give me a little bit of taste, and then some natural sweetener because I'm going to make a smoothie as well, which I'll show you guys very soon. Some cinnamon on deck, and you guys know my long black. You know, I've got to have this is my second coffee, guys. As we get closer, I need at least two of these now. So, I'm gonna make this and I'll show you guys the final product. Oh God, I'm gonna add some baking powder as well. Five grams of baking powder. One more. Come on, five grams. What do you got for breakfast, babe? You um, got chicken sandwich. I've got a chicken, cheese, toasty with yeah. light mayo and tomato relish. My wife has been getting in shape as well. As you guys, if you're following me on Instagram, she's been training with me very hard, supporting me. And you enjoy the journey, mm -hmm. am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Back into proper training. Back into proper training. We're launching our other business coming up very soon. We'll talk about that as well, straight after the shows. Just because the shows are finished doesn't mean the vlogs are not going to finish. We're still going to keep up with the vlogs. <laughs> my morning meal I got my protein shake so strawberries 100 grams of egg whites and uh, 25 grams of protein I make it like look at that guys look at the consistency you know when you're dieting guys you got to make sure you find a way to make your diet very tasty you know what I mean got my protein shake and then I got my protein pancakes again 100 What's grams of pancakes so we have PB2 powder over here some PB2 powder, uh, which is high in protein. So it's just powder mixed with water. Yeah, just powder and mixed with like water. Yeah, and then I have my caramel syrup and a little bit of uh, original syrup as well. You know, when you're on 1400 calories, guys, you got to make this diet as tasty as you can because trust me, that's not much food to work with, you know. So this is a lot of volume, which I like. This whole meal is only 466 calories. This whole meal, 466, it's gonna keep me full and I'm gonna enjoy it. So we're gonna get into this, that's my first meal. And yeah, I think it's 50, 56 grams of carbs, 74 grams of protein and like five grams of fat. All right, what are you having, babe? It's a chicken cheese yeah. toasty with tomato relish um, and light mayo. That looks tasty. It's so nice. Off season, I'm gonna have it. I'm, I'm gonna have three of them to be mm. honest, off season. And coffee as well. And coffee. Boom! We're gonna watch some TV and yeah. Right now we're hitting a 
push and pull session. Um, not gonna show the whole routine, guys. Just maybe a couple exercises, just to show you guys what we're doing. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Push-ups. Alright guys, just came from an amazing workout. Second meal for the day. Uh, I'm actually gonna have a shake again. You know, um, 100 grams of literally the same thing I had in the, you know, in morning. 100 grams of strawberries. Uh, 100 grams, 100 grams of 100 milliliters of egg whites. But instead of 25 grams of protein, I have 20 grams of protein, and blend it up. Put some ice. Thick. Really good. And here, it is 200 grams of prawns, uncooked. 40 grams of pickles and 100 grams of lettuce, okay? Uh, with 20 grams of dressing, uh, low calorie dressing. So usually my lunch is 349 calories. So I'm gonna dig into this guys, I'm gonna watch some TV, and then I have some clients that I'll be training, and then I'll catch you in my next meal, which you guys will see tonight when I'm back after training clients and doing some athlete chicken. So, see you guys then. Yeah, back from Training clients and doing some client chickens. I am doing my next meal with the which is a protein ice cream shake. This is one of my favorite meals, and it is within my 1,400 calories a day. You know, so what we do is, guys, I put 130 grams of strawberries in here, and then 30 grams of strawberries. This is how when you're dieting, guys. You gotta have this kind of stuff, uh, or else you go insane. And this is how I keep myself at 
happy on prep and I, honestly these are the same stuff that I am going to implement in my off season but just a lot more you know uh, I love my diet at the moment it is very sustainable for me uh, and uh, as you guys know when I come out of this prep I want a diet that's going to sustainable and, and I'm, I'm, I'm still going to be in shape I'm, I'm still going to have abs guys I'm still going to be ripped you know so obviously not at 64 kilos slash six, you know uh, I'm going to be I'm going to slowly build up to like um, 72 ish but within the weeks coming up so this is the exact diet that I'll be using if you guys see the exact same thing but a little bit more in calories you know while having a good balanced life so 30 grams of protein uh, we have enzyme muscle protein guys that I use well, I love it I'm gonna put 100 milliliters of almond milk very low in calorie make sure it's on Sweden guys if you're on diet it has to be on Sweden yes you can use milk on prep or almond milk I've been doing trim milk and stuff all this prep you know so it's just a and lower calorie one low calorie one on my coffees I don't cut the um, milk I, I put a little splash of trim milk in the morning got the other milks like oat milk um yeah, coconut so and stuff but this is this is really good guys if you're dieting calories of water. Really? so this 100 milliliters only like 20 calories or something yeah it's very good. low and then the and most important thing yeah the most important thing xanthan gum xanthan gum that's the brand that i use now remember xanthan gum does have calories so make sure you guys weigh it out i always put this on my calorie intake five grams not much calories but for me everything is always weighed and counted if I'm gonna do this stuff so I put five grams of this a little bit more so that's what makes it thick yeah that like makes the ice it cream thick. sort of it's right. more like whip though eh? it's more like whip look now don't get me wrong this shake is not like ice cream ice it's not cream. Ben and Jerry's <laughs> not Ben and Jerry's it ain't gonna be Ben and Jerry's but when you're dieting to my extent it tastes like Ben and Jerry's so if you're a normal person you think it's gonna taste like Ben and Jerry's no it's not but we're gonna get the ninja like creamy didn't. yeah we're gonna get the ninja and creamy. I think that like, I'm excited to try that but you don't like this no I don't like you're, it she doesn't like it because she doesn't like the texture I just now. yeah I don't like it because it's like whipped cream to me and exactly. I, I'm not really a fan and I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla extract on this as well to make it a little bit more sweet and then oh I forgot and vanilla extract doesn't have calories right no calories on it no now peak week time we're gonna cut this out okay all right so I'm not gonna use none of this peak week time uh, but this is the thing right again I don't know like I'm in really good condition at the moment so I don't know I might keep everything it all depends how I look on the week before the show sometimes guys you don't need to cut all this I keep artificial sweat in my diet diets if I'm really shredded you don't need to really cut this stuff because you know it's just working for you now if you're not shredded then yeah you gotta start cutting it out and I'm pretty lean at the moment you can see my Instagram stories so I just had to drop the water, dry out, I'll be good to go. So obviously the last two days, none of this, you know, but like honestly, even during peak week, if I'm sharp, then I might keep it, I might not. I'm gonna use some cinnamon as well. This is the brand, okay? I like cinnamon. And then the final thing, I forgot, salt. I don't cut sodium. I only manipulate sodium again in peak week. Two grams of salt. That's a lot. <laughs> That's two grams. I only manipulate sodium in peak week, so. So this is the ingredients for your protein ice cream. Again, it doesn't taste like Ben and Jerry's. So please, do not expect, trust me, this is a dieting ice cream. You're gonna put some ice, guys? No, this is the trick, ice. You gotta put, I put about 250 to 300 grams of ice in here to make sure that I get the thickness. As I said, I need to make sure, you know where a lot of people go wrong, babe? Is when they do a diet on prep and then they stick to the chicken, broccoli, all that kind of stuff and then come on and start binging. Yeah. You know, and oh, I yeah. have done that myself where I've gained like eight kilos. You I've guys will see. I've done it too. You've done it. You guys will see this right here is beautiful and it's going to keep me straight. Now in off season, I can add a little bit more yummy stuff. Maybe a little bit of, like a couple of Oreos or something according to my macros. Yeah. You know? Or like those, um, the wheat bix cheesecakes, or like the, the biscoff wheat, yeah, wheat yeah. bix cheesecakes. Yeah, so those are the stuff that I can add to this and still stay in shape. 
Okay, so guys, make sure you guys have a ninja blender, okay? A ninja blender, yeah? This does the trick. Switch this on. Max play. Okay, here you go guys. The final product of the protein ice cream. Now this whole thing is only 280 calories. So how you do the test is like this, see? It doesn't fall guys, look. Look at this guys, how thick it is. Look at that. That is, let me taste it. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. That's how you stay full when you're eating 1400 calories guys or else you're gonna go insane. But this is how I diet. You know some people don't like doing this kind of stuff. Everyone's different. Some people like just plain broccoli and chicken and whatever they like, that's fine. Everyone's very different. There's no one way in getting shape, I always believe that. I've done plenty of bodybuilding competitions. I have done so many different diets and this is by far the best I have done. And yeah, I've been losing weight and I've been getting conditioned. I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> taking every bit of this because this is just beautiful. Don't cut your time like last time. I know, I'm not going to cut my... <laughs> yeah. Use a spatula this time, not that your tongue. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I did cut my tongue once, guys, because I was licking it so much. Last bit, I'm going to add this topping right here. Salted caramel. It's only 6 calories for 25 milliliters. No, artificial sweat is not going to kill you. Please don't be one of those. Oh my gosh, artificial sweetener. Uh, guys, come on. Okay, artificial sweetener is not gonna kill you. Alright. 25. Boom. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. See, it doesn't even fall from here. That's how thick it is. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. My last meal for the night is this right here. We have 250 grams of egg whites. I'm gonna put 10 grams of sauce in here. It's gonna be the Heinz. Gotta be the Heinz. And they have a lower sugar version, right? That's right. So 10 grams of that. I have 200 grams of Greek yogurt, 20 grams of peanut butter with some maple syrup on it, and a little bit of sweetener as a dessert. And I have one more meal that I have, which is my sugar-free jelly. Here's another thing that I have, sugar-free jelly, before I go to sleep. And I put 80 grams of Greek yogurt in here with um, 15 grams of PB2 powder. It is called Macromike. Now, they, these stuff are pretty expensive. So, look, when you're on diet, obviously, I like to use this kind of stuff because it kind of gives me that... Um, What's lower peanut butter? Yeah, lower, lower calories, butter. lower fat. So if you really see, this is actually high in protein. It is literally half the calories. This right here is literally like seven calories, and you make a whole bowl, as you guys know. So this is how my total macros today are one thousand four hundred seventy-one calories, ninety-two grams of carbs, thirty grams of fats and 217 grams of protein so that is my day today's calories guys remember um i get super flat with this diet okay we still have our egg whites and stuff like that, that i use and i had my prawns in the afternoon so i'm only using prawns and egg whites as my meat sources i'm not using steak i'm not using chicken none of that at the moment i like prawns and egg whites and this diet is I there like a reason so why much. you're not having steak and chicken the reason why i'm not having chicken at the moment because I'm sick of it and the reason I'm not having steak because it's high in calories and I'd rather okay people are gonna say iron and this and creatine whatever blah 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 okay look guys my physique has spoke for itself okay all right okay I'm lean I'm shredded so it runs very different now when it comes out to my clients they can't follow a diet like this because some of them are not seasoned as me I've been doing bodybuilding for years, so my, my, I know my body, I, I, I've been, you know, my body's pretty seasoned to these kind of foods. I would not put these kind of foods into my clients' plants. It's because some of them, it will not digest well with them. 
you know because uh, quite frankly this is quite a bit of artificial sweetener in a diet as I said when it comes up to peak week but my body is very used to it and I've done about 15,000 steps today if you really see my step count it's almost 15,000 so I am walking a lot it's almost 10 kilometers a day and plus I'm doing almost two hours of training every day and I'm not sensitive to any type of food like this you know my body can handle artificial sweetener I'm getting leaner so everyone's very different when it comes to my clients some of them have it some of them don't they have to go on a straight plain diet because their bodies will not respond to how, how I want to respond you know so we don't make those manipulations some clients have to just have unfortunately they just have to do plain chicken and broccoli and all that kind of stuff because they have, they have digestion issues and uh, me with me I sleep well I wake up morning and I'm lean shredded you guys see my IG video so uh, that's why I do this diet you know it works well for me so everyone's very different at the end of the day uh, but yeah that's a day of eating I hope you guys enjoyed my 1400 calorie diet day we are 18 days out it's gonna be 17 tomorrow which is insane so yeah and our next vlog is gonna be our show day vlog yeah we'll try to shoot another video before then if we can we'll probably get footage for like maybe the day before and like the day of like landing and it won't yeah. just be show day it'll be probably because i think we get there a couple days before the show eh? yeah so that vlog will probably be all of the days in melbourne exactly so leading up to the show and leading up yeah. so we're gonna show some treats as well after the show now keep in mind i have already planned my uh goals after the show okay uh, i tell everyone have a plan before after the show and i've already have a plan so i'm very very focused on that you guys are gonna see in shape alvin forever you know so i've worked so hard to lose 27 kilos and you know this is what i've been doing you know i've been eating like this pretty much um pretty much the, the whole time you know six i think six six weeks i'll be started switching a little bit but yeah guys more content coming 